Hey guys, Luke here with Digital Audio Labs with a live mix how-to video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to do a live mix firmware update. Here we go. All right, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open up a browser, go to digitalaudio.com. This will bring you to our website here. You can see all of the live mix stuff here. Right at the top, it says support. If you click there, and then in the middle of the page here, there's a number of different tabs. You can click firmware. This will bring you to our firmware page. So the first thing we want to look at is the current Live Mix versions. So you can see the CS Solo and CS Duo is at 2.15. Mix 16, Mix 32 is also at 2.15. So let's look at that first. So let's hop over to the Duo. From the main screen, if you select Mix Tools, then Global Configuration, then Live Mix Version Info. So this will bring you to our page where you can see what version you're currently running. So if you see CS version, firmware says 2.11. Mix 16 and 32 version, firmware says 2.10. So this is a system that we're gonna wanna update. Uh, you can also see I have a Dante card installed. Um, so if we look at the SW, that's the software version, um, you can check that against the main page as well. So if we go back to the browser and see the, um, see the version that we're running to, uh, you can check whether that's up to date or not there. So uh, then if we jump over to the download side of things, um, everybody's going to want this one. So you want to download this one. This is to update your control surfaces. And then to do your mix 16 or 32, you can do it two different ways. You can use this file here that says firmware update, and that will allow you to update the mix 16 uh, using a flash drive inside the CS Duo. So that's what we'll go over in the video here. Um, the other way that's pretty straightforward as well is if you have access to a PC, um, you can use just the USB uh, simple application uh, to run that. So that's just an EXE file where you can uh, where you can hook up over USB, update it over a PC, and then be all set to go. The DA816 where a, uh, firmware update works the same way. Um, so then uh, you can also download the Dante if you have a Dante card, um, an EXP1. Um, the EXP2, there's no update needed at this time. We're still shipping that one with the same firmware that it was shipped with initially because it's working great. Um, so there's no update required if you have two ports. That's the EXP2, um, the initial EXP, uh, which is our first Dante card. It has a single port. Um, that one uh, may need an update. You just want to check it against the page here. So let's hop over to the file browser. So I just have the downloads page up here. If you go through and download all of these, uh, this is what will show up basically um, in your downloads folder. So the first thing that we wanna do is go to a flash drive. So I've inserted a flash drive here. Right click and select format. So on this page, the only thing you really wanna make sure of is make sure the file system says fat. So what I usually like to do here too is say live mix firmware, uh, you can leave quick format checked, that's fine. It'll just make it go faster. Um, that has no effect on uh, whether or not a system, our system will see it. So you can hit start and select OK. Format complete, it's done just that quickly. So that's all set. So then what we wanna do is go to that drive, open a new window, and then move that over here. So uh, the first thing, let's, so in the root of the drive, so this is an empty drive because we just formatted it. Uh, so in the CS Duo Solo Firmware Update, if you double click that, double click the next folder, there's this LM Update folder. So let's drag and move that over so that our Limex system is gonna look for this LM Update folder with this exact name in the root of the drive, which just means it's not inside another folder, it's in the root of the drive. Um, and that folder is what contains the firmware update files um, that LiveMix needs in order to be able to update. So what we just did was we moved over the control surface. There's two files for the control surfaces that are needed. So these are to update the control surface. So now what we wanna do is we can leave that open. We can go back here to the main page here, Mix 1632 firmware update and go into that file into the same folder and just grab this other file and drag that out. So they can all be in the same folder, but that's what we want basically is exactly this. This is how we're gonna update both the control surfaces and the Mix 16. So we can go back here. So let's eject the drive. And we'll remove it and insert it into the control surface. going to happen it's going to read the drive there for a moment 
and then what you can do. So what we want to do is update the MIG-16 first because we always want to start in the center of the system and work its way out. And the reason is because if we try to update the Duo first, it won't be able to communicate with the MIG-16 anymore because the Duo will be up to new firmware. The MIG-16 will have old firmware. And if it can't communicate, it can't update it. So uh, we want to start by updating the MIG-16. So just select Update Firmware, select Yes, select Continue. And this process will take just a little bit here. All right, and that finished up there. So then you can select OK to reboot the MiG-16. This is the MiG-16 rebooting, this will just take a moment. You'll see all the control surfaces power down and power back up as this happens here. Here we go. So you saw a message there for a second that says uh, basically the firmware was mismatched between the control surface and the MiG-16, which makes sense because we just updated the MiG-16. So then it immediately saw the flash drive and recognized the new firmware on the flash drive. So now it's asking, do you want to perform a firmware update? So you can go ahead and hit yes. And first it's basically going to copy the files over to the control surface itself. And then it'll ask you to remove the flash drive. At this point, you can pull the flash drive out, and then you can go start right on the, with the next control surfaces, and you can go straight down the line. As soon as, uh, it, as soon as you're able to pull that flash drive out, you can go do the rest of them um, right in a row. You don't have to worry about only doing one at a time. Um, the rest of this process goes actually uh, pretty quick. So then. Uh, it goes through the process where it updates. The CS solos do take a little bit longer because they have a whole other chip inside that they need to uh, program that works with the communication um, on the through port. Um, so basically once that's done, you'll see it reboot just like that. And it'll come up and you'll be all set. If we go to Mix Tools again, Global Configuration, Limex Version Info, you'll see that the CS version and the Mix 16 version both say 2.15, which is the latest, and that matches the website. So we are all set to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.